and welcome to my first American Truck video, or American Truck Simulator video. Just trying out my new track IR, and so far I am loving it. Got to do some tweaks to the movement though, but uh, in fact, let me do that real quick. You're going to see some stuff, but we'll, uh, you'll be alright. And then, you can see what I'm doing here. Let's see. Go back. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, anyway, let's pull forward and let's uh, get us a load and... Let's try this thing out for size and see what we get. If you don't know anything about American Truck Simulator, you see where that's some gifts. I did that as an external contract. You actually get a lot of doing it still. I don't know how long it's going on. You can actually get some exclusive paints, which I have on my truck, and some other things, steering wheel, and a few other little things. But uh, if you have already done it, then you know if you have it, well, then I suggest you jump on it and wall it in. Let's do a short run here for FedEx. We'll some household clients. There's our trailer over there. Let's go set up. That's good. Let's uh, take on out of here. short run. Alright, let's pull out of this yard here. So far, it's not so bad. Uh, I used to play this in a triple monitor span mode. I had it set up for iRacing. And uh, now that uh, I have this, I've gone away from the span and got everything back onto one single monitor because I think the track IR works better. Um, only because my center monitor is a 27 inch monitor, but my two outside monitors are much smaller. One's a 23 inch and the other one's like a 21 inch half inch something like that um, so it's not it doesn't it spans and it works and it worked fine for the year I had it that way but it doesn't line everything up like it ought to now with this it doesn't matter I can turn my head I can see what I need to see and continue on so for iRacing for American Truck Simulator for Dirt Rally that I play uh, FSX Flight Simulator X Arma 3, all of these games, I now have this, and I'm able to use my track IR. I no longer have to worry about having it span and some of the screens looking wonky and crazy. So, if you don't have it, I recommend you go get it. I know there's 
all kinds of other gamers out there who use it and they love it and I wish I had bought this two years ago when I was first tempted to buy it didn't do it because it's like oh I don't need that well guess what you need it there's no question in my mind how much of a difference it totally makes in gaming it really immerses you into the game and uh, gives you a lot of freedom and for me like when I'm on flight sim I like to have other information up on my other two screens and this allows me to have information up on the other two screens and be able to see it. Um, so it, it works out really well. Arizona in the dark hidden Kingman, Arizona. Going to Prim, Nevada. On this little short run, moving this uh, household appliances. And uh, you do the external contracts. I don't know if you've ever done the external contracts over the regular contracts. The external contracts actually puts a governor on your truck. You can only do 65, 64 miles per hour. Um, it actually governs the truck down, so it makes it like if you were working for these big motor carriers that run governors and can only do like 62, 64 miles an hour, this governs you down, so it makes it a little more realistic um, to real life trucking versus being able to do 70 miles an hour on the general contracts that you, you can do. Um, but if you're not set up for that, should definitely look into getting your profile with World of Trucks and getting everything to where you can do the extra contracts because it is awesome. Which, by the way, the present thing, that's how you do that, is through the extra contracts, you run 10 different loads to 10 different cities of those presents, and uh, after that, it gives you in your World of, World of Trucks profile, give you a key code so that you can unlock a DLC. Um, and it's strictly the only way to get it is to run those. It won't be for sale. It won't be for anything. It gives you like two different, two new paints for your truck, um, a new steering wheel, and something else maybe. I don't know. It's in the description on the uh, on the website of what all you get. I don't even remember now, but I know that you do get a new steering wheel and two two exclusive paints. Oh, dude, just brake check the crap out of me. Yeah, I run different mods. Um, I'll put my mods in the description down below. That way you can kind of see what all I run. Um, a lot of guys run the same mods that I do. Um, but a lot of guys don't. So you may, like I'm running a traffic mod and paints for my cars and my trucks and different different things. So I'll put that in the description below where, where it all comes from and uh, what it is. And... Uh, Run them. You can go get them. They're worth it. I like them. I'm running the uh, 1.5 public beta for the map rescale. Um, I don't even know if it's coming out into full release yet or not, to be honest. Maybe it has. Maybe I should opt out of the beta and see. I don't know. But it's cool. I like it. it makes everything a lot longer. Um, which, if it hasn't gone public, then you don't know that. But you see now that the distance between everything is a lot longer. Of course the cities, the cities, you know, stay the same. They didn't really get bigger, but the distance it takes you to travel between them definitely got much bigger. Coming in to Viva Las Vegas. Better start checking my spot.
five-year-old came in here asking me a question. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but if you did, that's what was going on. I love my kids. I have a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a 16-month-old. So, yeah, have a houseful. traffic mod I run normally is pretty good. I don't normally get brake checked like that. It's the first time I've been brake checked like that in a long time. And it used to happen all the time before the update came out for this traffic mod. I mean, they would do all kinds of crazy stuff. There was wrecks and accidents everywhere. It was pretty rough. Ever since I've done the, the, the update, I really haven't had issues until just then. And uh, it was twice that I almost rear-ended somebody over this mod. I'm gonna get all the way over here for a lift. Right. Here you go. Oh, wait, wait, are these guys gonna stop? Nope, they're not gonna stop. Sometimes they will stop and let you go. Sometimes they won't. We're in the intersection and we gotta go. thing is I hate about Las Vegas, got all these, you know, four and five lane highways here, roads, and, uh, and you're on one side thinking you know where the heck you're going, and then, you know, you gotta cross over, which is not so bad right now, because there is no traffic really on my side, but you got traffic like you see up there in front of me on the other lanes, that's a task trying to get over. Alright, let's go get on the highway, the interstate. that bus so we better blow up here a little bit. Let that bus go by. Go on bus. In case you're wondering right now I am running an automatic transmission over my normal 18 speed that I normally run. Um, why? I don't know, the other night I got lazy and decided I just didn't want to have to deal with shifting, so I uh, put in my 18, or changed my 18 speed over to the uh, automatic. Um, probably should put my 18 speed back on, because sometimes it's automatic, which is, can be nice at times. Um, doesn't always climb hills as well as if it was if I had my 18 speed even fuller. Where I can downshift and catch that gear to get up a, uh, a grade a lot easier. But that's okay. I'm actually waiting on a SKS shifter, whatever that may come. Bought it. It's been almost uh, two months now, maybe going on three months. And I've yet to receive it. Yeah, you really can't get any kind of answer from them, any kind of anything from them. Kind of makes me wonder, I really want this product. It's a, a shifter that goes right off the top of my uh, G27 and uh, gives me an 18, uh, an actual truck shifter with the splitter and the range selector and all of that good stuff. And I've seen other people with them and I love it. And I love the idea. I want mine. So, I don't know. They seem like it's pretty cool, it's just they need to work on their customer service. I've not been real impressed at all. 
I know uh, I'm not the only one that, that feels that way. I've seen it all over their Facebook page. And, uh, yeah. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get it one day. All right, we're in Prim uh, Novata. Let's go up here and drop off this room. Walmart in Prim, Nevada. Well, they gave us an easy delivery point today. I have a mod that I'm going to start running that takes this green box away and makes it a lot more realistic. And uh, I did run it for a while and I think it's about time I put it back in. Uh, while this can be helpful, the other one is a lot more realistic. And let's drop our trailer. Well, guys, I know it was a short episode, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be doing some more episodes here very shortly, probably later tonight, and getting some bugs worked out with the track I already. I didn't like this previous video. Um, make it a little more better for me, but thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. There's my custom paint that I got for delivering the packages, so, yeah. You can uh, go ahead and do that while they have it. Check it out and get you some... New cool things while you can. Till next time, I'll see you soon.